brings us to the Calico Kitchen region. The 2012-2013 team, the Linick, Harris, Hart, Pangos, and Bell finished 32-3 and three versus the 2001-2002 team. Finished 29-4, Violet, Gord, Reason, Dickow, and Step. Seven whole losses there. I know, <laughs> yeah, seven losses among these two teams. Wichita State, which, uh, although, you know, both, I think, would say they didn't do as well in the tournament as they hoped. When they started them. We'll call them underachieving teams. <laughs> 60, 61 wins. <laughs> Jim, uh, you, you covered that 13 team. What do you remember of those guys? Uh, just a, a tremendous team. Yeah. You go to number one in the country, first time, first number one seed for the program. Right. Throw the ball to a Linux and just watch him score from the outside, put it on the floor. Uh, a little bit like Wilcher yeah. was doing this year. Yeah. A pretty good sidekick, and Elias Harris, who we've talked about guys, uh, Bell and Pangos, kind of deferring in some ways this year. I mean, Elias yeah. Yeah. Uh, did that with that team, and that was a big deal. You know, you throw in Bell and Pangos, the glue guy, Hart. Two big, Shemek, Dower yeah. off the bench. I mean, that's four really good, those are going to be four eventual pros. Yeah, right. Um, as good as that uh, OT, O2 team is, I don't know if they could contend with um, the inside game of that 13 team. I do like a team that starts a guy that averages two points a game, because that's yes. what I did in high school. So, I think I'm surprised did, we didn't get a scholarship offer. Did, did you get a standing ovation for back-to-back -back offensive rebounds? I did. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, what's a rebound? <laughs> John, do you, uh, I, I mean, the dick out step backcourt against yeah. those two sophomores? How do you, who's yeah. going to stop dick out? Well, those are two pretty good sophomores. I mean, yeah. um, oh, I, I, I go back to the year before, I mean, Mark kind of played the charade of not starting them in their first game, you know, <laughs> right? <laughs> just like, like, you know, like they weren't going to take over. So by the, you know, by the end of their sophomore year, they were, uh, they're obviously, they're obviously pretty good. I, I um, yeah, I, I think the, I, I'm kind of Jim. The inside game there is going to be pretty hard, even you know, and I, you're talking about a young Corey Violet and and a junior Zach Gord. It's still going to be pretty, and a freshman running Terry Evans. Dealing with with some of that inside strength is going to be pretty hard for, for the 2002 team, but I don't know; those guys are pretty salty too. And Dickon might score 30 in that game, and still might lose. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Stephanie, do you go to games? Do you? Have... I have. Yeah. yeah. Not not all the time. Not all the time. Mm -hmm. yeah. But occasionally, so when you... somebody gives me a ticket. <laughs> <laughs> is that a hint? Yeah, yeah. exactly. Anybody? Do you have any? Uh, <laughs> I'm the same way. So. Uh, it's wait. a tree, yeah. you know. Yeah. So I don't know with the, these. Uh, that the 2001, 2002. That that was the year I was watching a lot. Yeah. You know, like all the guys on the team, they were very strong, and you know they did a lot for the city too. Yeah. You know, it's amazing what these guys have done to rally just the whole entire city mm -hmm. to get along. You know, and the spokesman review would put that uh, go Zags. You know, just yeah. a paper, and you'd see all, everybody's paper in the window, go Zags, and this was really that year. I don't know, between these two teams, I mean, I know statistically uh, you'd go with the one seed, but I'm inclined to pick the third. Oh, I like it. Tom, what do you remember about this? Boy, you know, I, I'm i the same. I, it's funny, you know, I started to look at this and I started to say, well, geez, you know, Kevin Pangos is going to be one of the best players in, in, you know, program history. I mean, just statistically, Elias Harris. I mean, this guy's top three in rebounding and scoring and, and you know, or top five in scoring. I mean, and like Jim said, deferred to a guy who had, uh, you know, a, a, just a breakout season. And, you know, and then I look down here, I say, well, okay, well, Dan Dickow scored a little bit. And Blake's one of the better guys in program history. And uh, Corey had a really good career. And, you know, and you start kind of running through that. You know, well, wait a second. Bench. Yeah, exactly. But, yeah. but yeah, I, I agree with uh, Jim and John. I think that uh, the Olenek Harris, you know, and then Karnowski, you know, even as a freshman, you know, coming off the bench, uh, and uh, oh yeah, by the way, Sam Dower Jr., who could have, you know, come out and, uh, you know, offensively really gotten a lot done for you. I, I like that, uh, that crew a little bit, I think. Jeff, do you ever see anyone improve like Olenek did? No, that was amazing. Right? Yeah. That was truly, I remember watching him as a freshman, skilled seven-footer, clearly had a big ceiling on him. Yeah. I thought maybe, you know, that kid could maybe be an NBA player at some point. And I remember talking to Pendergraph one day, when he didn't do a red shirt, and I was like, 
be interesting, right? I, I like the concept, I like the program, I like the kid. Would you ever project he would go from here to, I mean, that was unbelievable, yeah. right? Yeah. And, and frankly, I, I'm convinced it's probably a big reason why Wiltshire um, looked at what Atlantic did and said, mm, that's not a bad program for me to go follow. Yeah, right. I go make a similar jump during a redshirt year. Um, so he was just such an unbelievable player. Um, and clearly the front court of that team, their size would be hard to deal with. Yeah. Um, flip side of that, too many if, if that guy was right, <laughs> shooting it, uh, he's right, I, he would go drop 25 and a half. Yeah. Um, so you would literally probably have Gary Bell um, trying to go lock down Dick out, and that yeah. would be, how great would that be to go mm -hmm. see that game? Yeah. Um, so you talk about a, right, a front court versus a back court, a classic matchup, um, and who, I mean, the, the price of admission to go see some of these teams actually go play in their prime would be so fun to go see. Yeah. Are you ready to vote? Not really. No. <laughs> yeah. It's only going to get harder. This tie yeah, quiet in here. Yeah. <laughs> Where are the blue ribbons? All right. That's coming. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They go to fifty-one forty-nine. <laughs> What do we have? 12, 13, 12, 13, yeah. 4 to 1. Stephanie, okay. I love that you're going against the chair. <laughs> That's the right thing there. Uh -huh. <laughs> 4 to 1. The story of my life. All right, so the out of the Calico Kitchen region, the 2012-2013 team. Okay.